I can say you're still very much the John Wick of all. Am I? Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the most fearsome and cool characters who took the law into their own hands. I don't have anything better to do with my money. I might be going away for a while. We're excluding superhero vigilantes as they deserve their own list. Number 20. Hutch Mansell. Nobody. Fans of Bob Odenkirk love him for his comedy work, hence they might not consider him the first choice for an action film. Did I hear right? Depends who you talk to. Well, your boy called. Then yeah, you heard right. Nobody proves that he can get just as physical as the legends of the genre. Not only that, the movie lets him go full badass as he dishes out street justice. The bus scene alone shows Hutch Mansell as a man who doesn't give up. He's an office drone by day, but by night, Mansell dispatches Russian mobsters with lethal precision. Despite his unassuming facade, few realize he's a full-blown assassin capable of tearing through hordes of assailants. Odenkirk sells a dynamic role with a raw and confident performance. Number 19. Walker Point Blank After completing a robbery, Walker is betrayed by his partner Mal Reese and wounded. The anti-hero then spends the rest of the movie hunting down Reese. Lee Marvin's portrayal of Walker doesn't feature much dialogue, yet it exudes just as much menace as the most revered cinematic villains. Where's Reese? His unstoppable energy propels him through his enemies at a remarkable speed. Armed with his trusty revolver, Walker is the last person you'd want to appear at your door. He also uses various methods to get answers that show he's as smart as he is physically gifted. You don't know who you're dealing with. Listen to me. I want my money in 12 hours. I'll tell you where to make the drop. If you don't, you are dead. The moral of the story? Don't steal from a professional thief and expect to get away with it. Number 18. Erica Bain, The Brave One Erica Bain undergoes a profound transformation, going from a radio host to a vigilante after three men tragically murder her fiancé. You had the service? They didn't know when you were going to wake up. If you were going to wake up, you were gone for three weeks. You had to let him go. By the end of the film, she becomes something much closer to Travis Bickle. Bain buys a gun on the black market and takes it upon herself to rid the city of crime. This includes tense scenes and confrontations that prove the woman is a stone-cold killer. She also tracks down her partner's murderers, leading to some chilling fights. Jodie Foster makes this believable story all the more real with her natural performance. I should have walked out of that train. I could have just shown them the gun. They wouldn't have hurt me. Why don't my hands shake? Why doesn't somebody stop me? Her character is able to channel her anger into a deadly skill, proving that some people shouldn't be underestimated. Number 17. Charles Rain, Rolling Thunder Upon returning from Vietnam, Charles Rain is rewarded with silver dollars and a car for his service. Robbers take this as an opportunity to rob Rain injure him and kill his family now you are going to tell us where that money is sooner or later i would suggest sooner because later may be too late motivated by vengeance the veteran dons a hook for a hand and seeks out the assailants william devane plays the hero with a subdued personality that can explode at any point this makes him even more dangerous as he contemplates how he's going to exact his revenge. With the help of his military buddy, Rain finds the culprits in a brothel and wreaks havoc. The harrowing finale serves as a stark reminder to never mess with someone who has military experience. Number 16. Machete Cortez The Machete Franchise Starring in two films as the titular character, Danny Trejo oozes coolness as Machete Cortez. The first entry follows his plot to take revenge on his former partner. The honorable way to die is to cut off your head. But 
You don't deserve to die honorably. For this, Cortez employs a range of inventive and violent methods, showcasing the vigilante's prowess in defeating villains without skipping a beat. His ability to pull out somebody's guts might just be the craziest part of his adventures. In the sequel, despite surviving a hanging, Cortez persists in his quest for vengeance. He proves time and time again that he defies the odds and can't be easily killed. Like your style, low tech, but this ain't your mama's canker. Throughout both films, Treo's edgy performance infuses every scene with a gritty, tough guy energy. Number 15. The McManus Brothers, The Boondock Saints After running afoul of the Russian mob, these unlikely heroes start to clean up the streets on their own. Sort of like 7-Eleven. We're not always doing business, but we're always open. Mm. That was nicely put. Thank you. Their personal brand of morality involves gunfights, prayers, and outlandish plots to dish out justice. Despite their faults, Connor and Murphy McManus managed to do it all in style. They're badass without even trying, bringing together a swagger and devil-may-care attitude that you can't buy. The siblings even cauterize their own wounds in a scene that shows how tough they can be. The duo's popularity propelled the film to cult classic status and led to a sequel, as their story just couldn't be contained in one movie. Number 14. Clyde Shelton – Law-Abiding Citizen When the justice system fails him, Clyde Shelton takes matters into his own hands. Remember me? Sure you do. You came over to my house once before. Don't remember? He plans to avenge his wife and daughter by any means necessary. Using his CIA training, the anti-hero shows that not even imprisonment can stop him. Shelton conducts complex operations with all the resources and cunning mind of a Bond villain. He seemingly covered every possible idea, working to take down not just his family's murderer, but also other components of the corrupt justice system. His ability to hold a grudge is almost unmatched in recent cinema history. I'm going to pull the whole thing down. I'm going to bring the whole f diseased, corrupt temple down on your head. It's got to be biblical. Even with an entire system trying to stop him, Shelton manages to stay one step ahead for most of the story. Number 13. Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher. A key point to being a vigilante is to be one step ahead of the bad guys. Jack Reacher goes above and beyond this trait by seeming to know everything the way it happened as he tries to find a psychotic killer, eventually taking on an entire crime ring. Once I take out the leader, which is you, I'll have to contend with one or two enthusiastic wingmen. The last two guys, I always run. Are you, uh, you done this before? Although he only really becomes a vigilante at the end of the first Jack Reacher film, he uses his military know-how and the character's own psychologies against themselves. If she doesn't answer the phone when I call this number, if I even think you've hurt her, I disappear. And if you're smart, that scares you. Because I'm in your blind spot. And I have nothing better to do. Adept and charming in his own way, with just the right amount of mercilessness. Jack Reacher is not someone to be messed with in any combat situation. Number 12. Keller Dover – Prisoners Who said you have to be a killer to be a good vigilante? Such is the case for Keller Dover, who goes beyond the law to find his missing daughter. Using his handyman skills and an empty building willed to him by his father, Keller devises disturbing torture contraptions that don't fare well for the prime suspect in the kidnapping. While we can remain empathetic towards Keller for trying to find his daughter and right some wrongs, the flip side to his personality makes him all the more disturbing and we can't help but want to distance ourselves from his dark deeds. He's not a person anymore. No, he stopped being a person when he took our daughters. Number 11. Brian Mills – The Taken Franchise One of modern action film's chief vigilante characters, this former CIA operative with a particular set of skills has transcended pop culture and turned his character into a memorable and quotable hero. But if you don't, I will look for you 
I will find you. And I will kill you. Known for slamming bad guys' heads into solid objects after already delivering a savage beating, Mills relies on previous combat experience and just about any grabbable object to dispatch his enemies in a calm and calculated manner. Leaving many bodies in his wake, Brian Mills strikes fear into the hearts of assassins, kidnappers, corrupt law officers, and pretty much anyone who dares to mess with his family over the course of the franchise. This is gonna end bad for you. Don't be such a pessimist. Number 10. Shoshana Dreyfus Inglorious Bastards Let's hear it for the ladies. This movie vigilante gets points for the most creative method of vengeance using flammable film reels to get the literal last laugh on the entire Nazi command. In this little rewrite of history, Dreyfus manages to take out historical figures like Joseph Goebbels and Adolf Hitler himself sending a chilling message to the audience in her theater, taunting them with death. Although she accomplishes this with a little help from the bastards and doesn't even survive her lone act of vengeance, Shoshana Dreyfus has one of the highest body counts on our list. Number 9. Robert Bob McCall – The Equalizer Franchise Looks can be very deceiving. Kind-hearted hardware store employee by day, ruthlessly violent justice figure by night, Bob McCall stands up for the little guy, even if the threat is a group of ice-cold Russian gangsters. I paid cash. We didn't have a reservation. How'd you find me? Well, that's what we do, Mr. McCall. We who? Find people we need to find. We who? Based off a character from the hit 1980s television series of the same name, actor Denzel Washington brought a lot more character to his role as McCall by having him afflicted with obsessive-compulsive disorder. This is just icing on the cake, however, as this makes him an even more efficient killer. Using his workplace as an arena, McCall manages to use common household tools to maximize deadly potential in a final showdown with the bad guys, giving them each around 16 seconds to live. Very clever, Mr. McCall. I decided to come and see you. Yeah? I'll be waiting for you. Number 8. William Money Unforgiven When you learn about outlaw William Money's background, it's evident that he's far from a saint. His violent past catches up with him when he reluctantly takes on a job to hunt down people again. If they've done you some wrong, I can see shooting them. We've done stuff for money before that. Yeah. We thought we did. Once his partner Ned is killed by corrupt sheriff Little Bill Daggett, Money seeks revenge of his own and confirms how badass he really is. The man enters a bar and fires at several people, later shooting Little Bill without thinking twice. Kill just about everything that walks or crawls at one time or another. And I'm here to kill you, Little Bill. For what you did to Ned. Even if he has any traces of remorse, he barely shows it in a hardened exterior. Clint Eastwood delivers a stellar performance throughout the film, lending his character a level of ruthlessness rarely seen in a western. Number 7. The Driver – Drive Ryan Gosling took the action world by storm in Nicholas Winding Refn's 2011 art house hit, Drive. As mysterious as he is unpredictable, this nameless vigilante is willing to sacrifice everything he has to ensure a woman and her son are never bothered again by a heartless gangster. I want to give you a time and a place and you're going to come and get it. Do you understand? And what do you get out of it? Just that. Out of it. Adhering to strict rules as a getaway driver and never claiming to be a professional at what he does, the driver manages to always get the upper hand when the tables are turned against him, putting him one step ahead of the bad guys even when he is the one being chased down. You know the story about the scorpion and the frog? Your friend Nino didn't make it across the river. I think this has gone on long enough. Let's just say we would never want to be trapped in an elevator with this guy. Number 6. John W. Creasy, Man on Fire 
Leave it to Denzel Washington to bring pathos to his vigilantes. Much like the Equalizer's Bob McCall, Washington's portrayal of ex-military hero John Creasy is loaded with character flaws that either put him on equal footing or one step beyond those who have wronged him. The Iglesia dice que hay que perdonar. Forgiveness is between them and God. It's my job to arrange the meeting. John Creasy works his way up the Mexican criminal food chain in order to rescue the girl he was hired to protect, racking up an impressive body count along the way. As he targets his victims, Creasy ensures that their deaths become more and more elaborate, yet is professional enough to ensure that nobody is caught in the crossfire. What are you going to do? What I do best. I'm going to kill him. Anyone who was involved, anybody who profited from it, anybody who opens their eyes at me. Did we mention he does all this while mortally wounded? Yeah, he is that good. Number 5. V. V for Vendetta. Not quite a superhero, but definitely on the same level, this mysterious character is both theatrical and sympathetic while also being sadistically violent and merciless. People should not be afraid of their governments. Governments should be afraid of their people. After an alliteration-filled introduction, V takes on a dystopian government by encouraging the people of Britain to rise up against the oppressors. Never taking credit for his own actions, he proves to be more an idea of vigilantism than an actual manifestation of it. Beneath this mask, there is more than flesh. Beneath this mask, there is an idea, Mr. Creedy. And ideas are bulletproof. With an interesting backstory and an anti-fascist agenda, these choices dispatching his enemies border on the quiet and painless to the psychologically devastating. Either way, he gets the job done in stunning fashion. Number 4. Paul Kersey, The Death Wish Franchise A household name in vigilante lore, Paul Kersey is an unbridled force to be reckoned with once his ability to kill is awakened. Starting off as a tragic anti-hero in the first Death Wish film, Kersey gradually became the face of justice in four more sequels with more ridiculous bad guys and bigger guns. Needless to say, Kersey's story in the first film put many filmgoers' greatest anxieties on screen when it came to dealing with inner-city violence and urban fear. The actions of the vigilante, as lawless as they may be, seem to be giving others new attitudes toward crime in the streets. Instead of helplessly allowing themselves to be mugged and robbed, a few are fighting back. Kersey's actions were also seemingly and eerily mimicked in real life when Bernie Getz took the law into his own hands in a 1984 incident that paralleled a scene from the first Death Wish film. Number 3. Robin Hood – The Adventures of Robin Hood Stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, Robin Hood might be the most famous outlaw ever. And what do you propose to do? I'll organize revolt. Exact a death for a death. And I'll never rest until every Saxon in the Shire can stand up, free men, and strike a blow for Richard in England. His campaign against Prince John and the Sheriff of Nottingham includes his personal gang of merry men. To top it all off, he gets the job done with a wink and a smile. There's also his impressive language, agility, and sword skills. He proves that wearing tights can be badass all while fighting off opponents such as Guy of Gisborne. You've come to Nottingham once too often. When this is over, my friend, there'll be no need for me to come again. Using his unorthodox methods and sense of humor, he saves the day for ordinary people and keeps royalty in check. Number 2. Travis Bickle, Taxi Driver He's a ticking time bomb ready to explode at any moment. Martin Scorsese and Paul Schrader's oddball creation in Travis Bickle is an unsettling and oddly true-to-life depiction of society's dark corners. Twelve hours of work and I still can't sleep. Damn. Days go on and on. And they don't end. All my life needed was a sense of some place to go. Although seemingly harmless, this likely-to-be PTSD-afflicted Vietnam vet-turned-taxi driver doesn't seem to know the extent of his actions. Played in impeccable fashion by Robert De Niro, the quotable Travis Bickle wages a one-man war on the society he feels has failed him. You talking to me? You talking to me? Practicing his lines toward pimps and thugs, this character reflects the average Joe taking the law into his own hands, making him the perfect vigilante. 
However, since he crosses the line in such chaotic fashion, Travis Bickle is both a relatable yet distant character. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. John Wick – The John Wick Franchise If they had just left him alone, so many people would still be alive. John Wick is the kind of guy you don't want to cross. He's a one-man wrecking crew that seeks revenge for the death of his dog in the 2014 film, John Wick. People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. After taking care of the Russian mob, he returns to battle more assassins in the sequels. His skills with all kinds of weaponry can't be understated. From firearms to horses, the man knows how to bring the pain. He also defies the odds by surviving serious injuries. Played by the ultimate badass Keanu Reeves, this series showcases some impressive stunt work to really make the audience understand his power. Yeah. Did we forget another badass vigilante? Let us know in the comments below. I'm not going to kill you. Your job will be to tell the rest of them that death is coming for them. Tonight. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.